Welcome back to the Crochet Credits. Those my friends at yarnspirations.com. This is coming as a request and the person was really great about it. And what this is, is a granny square that is built out on the two sides after the granny square is done. Now, I was thinking I was in my yarn collection and I have Red Heart Scrubby and I also have Lily Sugar and Cream. This is technically using two different colors. So you can see that there's a blue and then there's a variegated in play. And you can see that there's red and white. And I thought to myself, you know, this is kind of dish uh, cloth related. I would prefer if it was just one strand so I don't have to cut so I can just quickly do this because I, I can see this for a craft show. And so I saw the scrubby and I saw the lily and I thought, you know what, why not use both together at the same time? So I not only have the cotton, but I have the, the benefits of using scrubby at the same time and therefore we'll be doing that. So today I'm going to demonstrate this pattern using these two at the same time and skip changing the colors just like you see. The pattern is suggesting a five and a half millimeter size eye. I tend to be loose with cotton. Don't tell anybody, it's just between us friends. So I'm going to reduce myself down to a five millimeter size H and therefore I'll have tighter stitches. So that's just one thing that you can do. Now you're going to grab both of your strands at the same time and let's get rid of the pattern and just play. So get both of the strands in your hand and pretend that there's just one strand. So when it comes into your hand, just make sure that it comes together. So you always operate it as if it's one strand and create your beginning slip knot. And you're going to place your hook in and you're going to begin right now. Let's start. So let's chain four. So we have one, two, three. Make sure both strands come at the same time. So just don't be too lazy about it and do four. And then you were going to place the hook into the beginning and then yarn over and pull through. And that's the beginning. Let's start the first round. I'm going to change the pattern slightly. This is an old pattern. I can tell by the, the actual PDF. So it's still the same instruction, but I'm going to show it to you differently. I want you to chain three. So one, two, and three. And in the center of where you made the loop, I want you to put in three more double crochet, or sorry, two more double crochet. And I want you to go over top of the loose end and trap that into position. So you're just double crocheting into the center. Okay, once you have that done, chain two. That allows you to turn the corner and in the same center, you're gonna do three more double crochet. So we have one, two, and three. Okay, and now we're going to do that again. So chain two, so you got two sides done so far. Do it again, so three more into the center. I find with dishcloths that things are too loose, the dishcloth falls apart. So you just wanna be a bit relaxed about it. But you also want your stitches to be tight. So just kind of pulling it around to make more space for your final side. So chain two and place in three more double crochet into the center. We have one, two, and three. And I can already tell by the way that it feels in my hands, I think I'm gonna use this for scrubbing my shower later. So once that's done, I want you just to do a half double crochet join to the top of the first chain three. It's, in other words, it's big words for something so simple. So just rotate your hook, yarn over, go into the top of the first chain three, pull through and then pull through all three and that will complete that corner so that you're ending up in the very corner to start your next round. Now if you've been going over top of your stragglers just safely cut it down get rid of it and you'll be good to go and ready for round number two. Right where you are you're right in a corner so I want you to start off this way so I want you to chain a total of three so one two and three and place in three more double crochet into that same corner space right underneath so 
So let's begin. We're right in the very corner and I want you to chain three. And in the same corner space, right under it there, if you pull it apart with your fingers, you can see it. Place two more double crochet in there. Okay, so once that's in, okay, you are gonna chain one. And then you are going to go to the next corner space because that's the next space that's left. And so you're going to put in three double crochet first. So we have one, two, and three. And you will do a chain two to turn the corner and then three more double crochet into the same space. And that will allow you to do a 90 degree turn. You would chain one and going into the next space right here, which is the corner, it's gonna be three double crochet. And then how many to turn the corner? It's two, right? So one, two, and then three more double crochet into there to turn the corner. So the only difference in the future of these granny squares is that the corners get further apart from each other, so there's more space in between. You're gonna chain one, and then go to your next corner that's there. So what is the combination? It is three double crochet, chain two, and three double crochet. Chain one, and this is where we started. So in order to finish off this corner, we're gonna put in three double crochet, and I'm gonna have you do a half double crochet join to the top of the first chain three that we started with. So to do that, you're gonna yarn over and go into the top of the chain three, pull through and pull through all three. And now you're back in the corner. And I hate to admit it, I'm actually excited to use this in the shower. I think I'm ill. <laughs> Let's begin round number three. So I'm gonna show you how to get started and then I'm gonna leave the rest of the round for you. So you're gonna chain three right where you're sitting, you're in the corner and put two more double crochet into the same space. And you'll finish that corner and we'll do that together when we get back around. So to get to the next space here, it's not a corner, it's now there. You're gonna chain one before you do that. And then in that space, put in three double crochet. So one, two, and three. Chain one. And then in the next corner that you're running into, because it's already happening, it's gonna be the combination that you know. It's three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. So with the scrubby and the lily yarn here, you can easily throw it in the washing machine to wash these things. So you're gonna chain one before you start another one. You have a space right here before a corner. So it's three double crochet. And then you'll chain one after it. And then you'll get yourself to the next corner and do that and et cetera. And I'll see you at the, at the when we get all the way back around right here. I'll be right back. So I'm coming around. I'm just gonna chain one after this. Three double crochets are in. So you have your final corner, which already has a portion of the beginning. So you'll put in your three double crochet to start. And then I'll have you do a half double crochet join to close it. And guess who has to do one more round? Yeah, we all do. So we're gonna do a half double crochet to the top of the first chain, three. And, and that will create the join. So let's do our final uh, round here before we start the other fun stuff. And you'll notice that this looks bigger than the pictures. I find with dishcloths on your inspirations, they look they actually don't look as big as they are in person. Let's begin the fourth and final round for at least the granny square portion. 
So to start a new round, it's exactly what you already know. You're gonna chain three and put in two double crochet in to the first corner. And then you're going to chain one and you're gonna to come to the next space. So this time there's two spaces before you get to a corner. So it's no big deal, you're just filling in the spaces. If you would like just a granny square dishcloth, you can keep building these out and going bigger and bigger until you're happy. Uh, this tutorial, we are going to do that offset look that it has. Make sure you do chain one after each group of three, and then do the next one. Okay, chain one and then do your corner, three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet, and continue along the two, or sorry, the three sides you have left, and I'll see you at the very beginning. So I'm coming all the way back around. I've chained one after my last group of three here, and I'm going to finish off this corner with three double crochet. And then I am going to do a half double crochet join And now we're ready to go offset. And now we're gonna just start building out the two sides. Right where you're sitting is a great place to start and we can start building just out on this side and we'll build it out. Let's begin that process next. So as we build out the half double crochet and on the two sides only, it's very easy to lose the first stitch when they say chain two counts as a stitch and the designer's recognizing that. So we don't wanna count that as a stitch. So when you just do chain two, just say to yourself, that's a builder, but it's nothing. So now you're gonna half double crochet into the space that's directly below and it's just only one half double crochet there. Okay. Now you're going to apply one half double crochet in each one of the double crochets and also the chain one spaces. And you're gonna do that right until you get to the corner, which is where I'll meet you. So just place in one half double crochet and the half double crochet keeps things nice and tight, which is why they have it done. Okay, so it's half double crochet. So you do that one and then you move on. If you use your fingertips, you probably feel where the stitches are if you can't see them. In my case, I can see them, but if you couldn't, use your fingertips. So, and remember that everything's in groups of three. So now you're gonna go right into the space with a half double crochet. And then you have the three, and you keep doing that all the way across. So make sure you fill in all the spaces, and I'll see you at the turn of the corner in a moment. So I'm coming up to my corner and I'm just half double crocheting in each one of the stitches. So in the corner, it's slightly different than what you know. It's gonna be a half double crochet and they want it to stay tight. So they're only asking you to chain one and then I do another half double crochet into there and that will turn the corner. So you're gonna work down this side and you're gonna do one half double crochet in each stitch and chain one space. And I'll meet you on the very last section right here and I'll show you how to finish that off. When you get all the way to the other side here, we are just going to continue to half double crochet right into the last double, and then right in the corner, you're gonna half double crochet. So in the pattern, it's gonna ask you to change the color, so that's optional for you if you'd like to. If you wanna keep on going, the same thing, just stay on board. I don't know how many people actually change color in um, dish class, so I'm just gonna keep it the way that I would like it for myself so I can use this, and it's something that matches my bathroom. So now you're gonna turn your work, and let's begin. So the last three ro uh, rows are done the same thing. So you're just gonna chain two, won't count as anything. You will look straight on down and you will hit the first stitch right here. And you're gonna half double crochet. And you're gonna half double crochet in each one of the stitches until you get to the corner. What do you think you're gonna do in the corner when you get there? If you said that if you're just gonna do one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet, it means that you are paying attention because it's gonna be the same as what you already know. And then you'll get over to this side and you'll go into the very last stitch, which is where I'll meet you in a moment. And then you'll just go back and forth. So you get the four rows done, uh, complete. So once you see the granny square, there will be one, two, three, and four rows. So make sure when you turn the corner, it's one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet. I'll see you at the end of this row. So let me show you something here at the corner. Usually in half double crochet, you have what appears to be two tops. I use the top that matches here, the one that appears just before the stitch. This is the top of this one. 
if you decide to say that this one is the top, which you can do, you gotta make sure that when you start the next side here on the corner, that you're starting in the exact same spot. So if you say that this one here is the top of this stitch, then it means that the first one is actually right here when you go to turn. If you say that this is the end of this row and then you turn your corner, then it means that this one here is your corner. We have a video on how to identify half double crochet and that's something that people get confused with all the time. So I'm at the top here. I'm gonna come right into the corner. I'm gonna half double crochet, chain one and half double crochet. So the first stitch out is right here. So a lot of people think it's here. It is here if you went to the one after the stitch, but I'm using the one before the stitch. So that here, so it's not the hole, it's right here. It's a bit tight and there's nothing wrong with that. So then you carry on. Hopefully that makes sense. We do have a tutorial available on how to identify half double crochet in the corners if you need that. So just go all the way to the end of the row and I'll be right back. So I'm coming into my last stitch, which is right here. It looks like it's here, but this is the chain two. So when you do half double crochet and chain two doesn't count, it always looks like it comes out a bit because it technically does. So if that's happening to you, it doesn't mean it's wrong, but if you do go into the top of the chain two, you will create an extra stitch. So you're just gonna turn your work and you're going to chain two again doesn't count it as anything and then go here and when you do that you can see that it created that extra bump that you can see in the row below okay make sure you get two strands so you can see that it bump flat and then bump so it means you're doing it right so please do the last two rows just like i showed you which is half double crochets in each one half double crochet chain one in the corners and just go back and forth two more times with this row in the next and then your project is done I'll be right back in a moment. I'm now at the end of the line and I wanna just trim my yarn. I have enough yarn almost, I can almost do a second one of these. I think I'm pretty close that I can almost do a second one. I could at least do a second of just granny square on its own and you might have a little bit more left over to do one or two rows. I'm going to place both of these into the same tapestry needle. Do not just weave it in with your crochet hook because you're destined to have that follow, especially if you're gonna use it. So you wanna make sure that you just turn it to the back side. Okay, which side am I on here? This is the back side that I'm on. So I'm gonna stay on the back side and I'm just gonna weave it through. Now, just don't weave it between the strands. Try to separate the plies too. You won't be able to separate the scrubby, but you can definitely with the Lily, and you're gonna go back through. So if you separate the plies and even separate the ply of the yarn that you're dragging through, that will really help not letting it fall out or, or weasel its way out. And then you're gonna go through a third time. And therefore you can hide in your ends. And once that's in, that's there. So you have the power then of scrubby, you can shape it, you can wet it, you can use it, and it's a great little idea. And this is another free pattern by Yarnspirations.com. We hope you have a good one. We'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.